Hey, 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 what up, Wheatfield? What it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. Welcome to you. Um, your girl, Lati, here from Tears and Wheat to Roll Show, where you show enough, never know what you're going to get. I am feeling the full moon energy. And when I say it feels pretty darn good, I am loving it. I just put... Um, my crystals out in the earth and the grass under the moonlight so that they can charge up and i also went and stood and put my feet in the grass so that i can get all of that good energy coming in and charge myself up to um so yeah i just feel really really calm and i looked at um a piece of a message from uh one of my other favorite readers, his name is Soulful King, and I share him to the community page too a lot too. So if you guys want to check him out and help grow his channel, support him, he gives beautiful messages for those who are um, teachers and guides and shaman and oracles, channeled messengers, medicine women, medicine men alike. and. You know anybody that is um a court of course on that spiritual journey and looking for more advice um on how to manage um the emotions and the feelings and just the journey itself very very good brother to go visit and to support and i mean the messages are just absolutely beautiful um you can really see the spirit moving and working through him and they always touch and resonate with me always i mean sometimes they feel like personal reads even though he doesn't do personal reads which i'm very sad but um i'm grateful that he does have his platform and he puts those messages out so if you guys want to check him out his name is soulful king and i will post his most recent message to the community page if you guys want to find him easily and uh yeah he's an author too and he's got a very good um i use it as a journaling book as well um it's called positive vibes and you can find that on amazon yeah we were feeling some um empowered questions and then we were led to soulful king's video it's called i think the name of it is beautiful messages for you and we had uh did some grounding or maybe we did the questions and then we grounded and then we did the questions was listening to the video we were led to go put the crystals out for charging and ground it all while we were listening and came back and when we came back and sat down it was 1101 on the phone so i think that's going to be the title of this video i'm not for sure we'll see how the alpha and omega want to title it right and bring that message but we had a card that's in reverse my deck is upright so i can see maybe i need to adjust the light so that you can see you know that glare Oop. that was this way what was i intended to do in this life that's a good one to ponder is there something in my life that makes me forget time while doing it? <laughs> what is it? For me, your girl Lati is this. Delivering messages from the spirit. You know your girl can go. If I, look, I could get lost in a message and just keep going and bring out what the spirit is saying. And before I know it, we're an hour, hour and a half in, sometimes two hours, depending on how deep the message is. Um, I have a hard time keeping it. <laughs> under an hour 30 minutes be like to what like that was it but that's just me i get lost in it i do so what is it that you get lost in maybe that's the service for you yeah this one is upside down though it says what kinds of good and beautiful things i am experiencing in this moment so upside down right Turn it the right side so you guys can see but so it feels like I was getting the feeling that somebody was not feeling something beautiful like it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel beautiful 
right? And then we had these other questions down here too. Even though things don't feel good and they don't feel beautiful, you're not experiencing something good right now. You're just not. But what if that was how it's supposed to be? What if everything is exactly as it should be? Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. That's here. Somebody's not feeling it. But maybe this is the thing to dig into. Patience. Slow down. Change your attitude and clear your mind. That's a two and a four is a six. Yeah. And six is the feeling of balance. Moving towards calmer waters, right? The choice to move towards calmer waters. Because you have to get in the boat. We see proposal here. A romantic business or opportunity is indicated. I don't feel that. Thank you, Sweet, for being here and guiding the message. Thank you so much. The key. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. And that's what we were talking about. Choosing to move forward. Choosing it. And that is the key. The fact that you have choice to choose to move forward to choose to release now you guys know about some strength and look at that when you look at the I didn't even notice it's a one to five and that breaks down to six balance new beginnings yeah I think about the Six of Cups, right? You know, the key to um, releasing the past. I spoke to Blessing today, and we were talking about a God box, right? And how we can either mentally create a God box or physically create one. And it's totally up to you which way you want to go. So this was our conversation. And it was more, it was like... You may have needs and things that you want, that you desire, that um, you may not even feel comfortable with expressing out loud. You just speak it. Or you just want to call it into you. You can mentally place it in the God box. So when I was quitting smoking, right, and I would get a craving, I would practice putting each craving in the God box. Like, ooh, what was that that made me have a you know ooh, or first it was like I have a craving I have a craving and I'm gonna put it in the God box and that doesn't mean that I was perfect with it I went back and forth back and forth until the Omega came and said look you shall quit because I need your voice and I need you to live so you will quit and if you don't quit we ain't gonna talk about it I quit I tell you, after that conversation that the Omega and I had, I haven't smoked since. Done. And now when I get a craving, I try to think about what triggered the craving. What was it? What was it that hit me that made me want to smoke? And I even, a time or two, can I say it? Yeah, a time or two, uh, went back to the Omega and relived that sentiment that it gave me when it said, you will stop or this will happen. I didn't want them kind of problems. It reminds me quickly that that ain't what I want. I shall be obedient. But a God box helped me. And I figured out that you could use it for anything. 
whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever that you want to release, whatever you are seeking to call into you, you can go mentally or physically and put it in your God box. It's yours for your personal needs. Thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in new and positive future. Yeah, that's a three and a one, that's four. Weathering the thorns can bring you to stability. And even if you take one from three, that's two. It's still stability. You being stable with you. Yeah. But you have to get through the thorns. You have to get through the storm. So again, if you're not experiencing beautiful moments right now, because it's all in the reverse, what if it is exactly how it should be? What if? What if it what is it teaching you? How or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? Have you been placed in hermit? How are you when you're alone with you? Chariot if you find the key to your new beginning, you'll be moving forward with light. Stay strong, stay focused, stay confident. How or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? We see the storms, Miss Oya. She uses the energy of the storm. I feel that storms will be over for you for a while once you get through this pathway and able to charge ahead with confidence. And I feel like you will use that energy again of the storm to do that. Yeah. What did I say? You will use the energy of the storm to do that. To create something. All of this is designed to create something. To lead you into developing either you developing self. And look at that. That's a three. We just saw that. Feeling safe. That's a four. So, how is it? Now, we saw the three and the one, which, break, which breaks down to four. We saw three and one can also break down to two if you release something. We see the one and the five makes a six, and the one and the two makes a three. Manifestation is here. This is right over this one. What gives me joy? What gives you joy? We have alchemy coming out. Alchemy. Right over the thorns and feeling safe. And all the ugly things I hear bullshit that you're going through. It gives you energy. That's the energy of the storm that you're going to use. That's a one and a three. The thorns is a three and a one. Mirror. Thorns and storms. Storms and thorns. The thorns have you feeling a sentiment of insecurity. And having a way to feel safe. Being able to weather these challenges here. It's going to lead you to a state of creativity. And you will be able to move forward with confidence. Holding on to what gives you joy. Is going to be able. Is going to help you manifest. Because you see her. Majadi. Majaji is what it looks like it says, her name. 
but she uses the energy of the storm. Like her hair is literally a storm cloud. Just like Oya, using the power of the storm to create, to energize, to electrify, dancing in the flow, finding joy in all the things that you think are going wrong. What is the joy in that? Divine lineage. Having the ability to use the flow. How or what do I experience? How or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? Do you experience this? The ability to stand in the flow. I mean, because this doesn't look like just a couple of waves. It looked like tsunami. Right? And she's standing there knowing that she can command the storm. That she commands the storm. How does using and wielding that energy feed your creativity? And it's funny because this card is a six. We talked about balance. We talked about Six of Cups, nostalgia, past stuff, releasing the past. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those who are ready to let go of the past. Again, that's six. One out of five, breaking down to six. I see a lot of that uh, divine frequency tuning. The 369, they say like that Tesla frequency. We also see a lot of fours for stability. This card, oh yeah, the storms is a four. One and three, breaking down to four. Having stability in the midst of the storm. Creative of oh, snap. Okay, we see that. Creativity. Breaking down to a three. The chariot that's up underneath that is a six. Moving forward. Up underneath that is the eagle. To fly higher. And eagles look for the storm. They do. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. And that is what is empowering the chariot. By saying, charge ahead with confidence. So you will not only have clarity and strength, you will have confidence being strong and focused. Again, strength. Strength. Using the storms. Commanding. The energy allowing it to fuel your creativity yes blessing and I were talking about how everything comes from the inside out and some of the examples that I gave is like our hair it grows from the inside out it comes from out of us right um, your skin it comes out of you what is dust made of, beloved? Stuff that you have to sweep up and throw away. Like your body naturally sheds and lets go of the old, the past, that which it no longer needs. We think about how many representations in nature where it sheds. The leaves fall away from the trees. They shed in its season, only to bud anew in the next season from the inside out. Um, snakes, right? They shed their skin. It, the old has to fall away to reveal the new vibrancy. Ashe. And those are secrets. Secrets being revealed. And I felt that when I saw 1101. Because again, 1101 is three. Right? Something about that number three. Even when the 
divine. The Alpha and Omega gives us its seal. It says it in three. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. In three. Something about that number three. Something about the three points of the triangle being the strongest foundation, right? That's the strongest geometric structure. It's the triangle. Three points. We can consider the Holy Trinity, right? Something about the number three. Is there anything else? Liberation. That is a number 10. 3 and 7. And people count 10 as endings. Endings to new beginnings. And we saw new beginnings. Directions and adventures await. For those who are ready to let go of the past. Ready to let go. Maybe you're a wounded healer. Maybe you're holding on to shame. Maybe you're afraid to shine or just ready to shine. Release the old so that you can shine. Yeah, I feel like maybe that's the truth. Yeah. It's been a long road. Definitely a long road. I feel like this cycle was very long. That's three and the five is the eight. Spirit doesn't want that though. We're going to get some angel answers. Get more information is here. Maybe you need some more information in terms of whatever it is that you're going through. Like dig into it with that six of cups energy to see it so that you can release it. Not necessarily to hold on to it and attach to it, to judge yourself for it, to shame yourself for it, but just to let it roll by and let it go. Maybe you'll let it go and put it in the God box and release it. I give this to the divine and put it in the box. I give this to the divine and put it in the box. Let it come up and flow. I give this to the divine and I put it in the box. Transmuting that energy. Leaning into the joy. Leaning into the joy. Releasing it. Having the ability to stand in the flow. Ask your angels for help. To put it in the box. Asking for help. Help me to release. Help me to release. Help me to call back my power. Help me to discover my need. Liberate me. Release me. I give it all up onto you. I offer it to you willingly. I offer it to you willingly. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you? about where you are right now. Are you able to hear it? Are you able to hear your own spirit? Meditation brings answers. And that is how you have your secrets revealed. That is how you manage through the storm. That is how you receive your answers. That is how you can hear that which is coming into you to answer what it is that your heart is really desiring. What gives you joy? What gives you joy? 
what gives you joy? Look for a sign. What is the sign? The storm. Things are not as they should be according to what you expect them to be. The fact that you have called and commanded the storm so that something in you can be. Because again, if you're an eagle and you fly above, you're ascending, you have taken flight, then you need the storm to rise higher. And you can trust in your ability to get through it. Trust. Knowing that everything is going to be exactly as it should be. I'm looking at it myself, reminding myself to believe. Believe that everything is hot as it should be. And again, maybe I just need to do this. And maybe somebody else does too. Get information, more information. How do we do that? By asking for the secrets to be revealed. Come into balance. Digging into the past to see it, not hold on to it, but to discover what is it in it that has led me to this place. How do I release anything that I have attached to it. What are the emotions that are attached that I'm holding on to? What am I holding on to? I just want to see it and place it in the God box. Yeah. Helps bring us to this. A peaceful resolution. Doesn't she look like she knows that it's going to be resolved peacefully? How and what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? When I'm standing in the middle of a tsunami? When I know the tsunami is coming, I can feel the energy on my back. I can feel all of that from my past just walled up almost ready to come and overtake me what do I do when I'm all alone in that space I can see that she's praying she's meditating she understands that she needs to hold on to joy and praise. Praise and pray. Because with that crown on top of her head illuminated, she knows that that's where the Alpha and the Omega reside. And with those two, she can hold back that tsunami. She can command the tides. She can dance through the storm. Why? Because she can command the storm. She can command it. She is it. From the inside out. Somebody's going to get an answer for something within the next few months. Things are going to change. 
what's going to change. You're going to come into this. A sense of abundance. New beginnings. Yeah. Because things are improving. The whole situation is getting better. You just can't see it. And sometimes things get worse as they're healing. Right? You have to let it heal. There's opportunity coming for you. Opportunity that you will create. Because you're creating it by using the storm. You will move forward. You will. You will get through it. Even if you're doing it alone. What fell on the floor? Let's see. I said even if you're doing it alone and the car said no. You're not going to do it alone. I believe that somebody's going to come along and you're going to have a partner to get through the work. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have a partner to get through the work. All in perfect timing. It's going to be a new beginning. Anything else, beloved? Out of this deck? No. <laughs> I said anything else in this deck. They said no. And the card said no. No. Anything else? No, we yes. This. Let your soul speak. The voice of the soul. Thank you. Duality. Reproach is here. Maybe there's something you need to do a little bit differently. Again, getting more information. Health improving. Believing. We see alchemy down in there too. Right? Liberation. Freeing yourself from something. Seeing the good in all things, right? What kinds of good and beautiful things am I experiencing in this moment? Of course, being in the reverse, right? Who are you when you're alone and what defines the contents of your life? Who you are when you're alone helps shape who you're going to be when you're in company. Right? Are you able to be good company to self? Mm, Más o menos. Maybe. Right? This is a message of guidance to help you manifest whatever it is. Manifest the key to you. The key to your new beginning. We see guidance. And I can't uh, look. Look at this. After loss. Right? After loss. So whatever this loss was that doesn't make you feel so great, like you're experiencing some sense of grief, one and eight is definitely a nine. We spoke about this Tesla frequency, the three, six, nine that keeps representing loss is a nine. Guide is a six. Which happens to fall right on top of divine lineage, which is also a six. We see manifestation, which is a nine, which happens to be associated with the message of guidance. Three and six break down to a nine. Of course, the key is a six. This is all about your frequency and your vibration. The chariot to move forward, I'm just going to pull it, is also a six. Here's the ego, which is a nine. I was called to read at 11.01. That's three. There's something with your frequency. Tune your frequency. That is the key. That is the key to jumping into this new beginning, discovering your direction, and moving into the new adventures that wait for you. A part of this tuning is going to be change. 
change just happens to be a number five, right? And we use change by digging into that alchemy. alchemy now she's not a five she's an 11 but it's something with that one and one the two pillars the number two coming back to self coming back to stability and you do that by releasing all of the emotions the attachments to the past by seeing them and releasing them, by choosing to move into harmony, by tuning yourself, coming into balance, into rhythm, into alignment with everything that was, everything that is, and everything that will be. That's the three. Everything that was, everything that is, and everything that will be. I am in alignment with thee. Praising through all things, allowing the spirit to guide me. The I am, the breath, and the word, the intelligence, the three. Respect is here. Maybe somebody is experiencing a disrespect or they are not respecting self, they are not respecting spirit in some sort of way. Maybe you need to take more time out again to pray, to make a space for the divine in your life. I hear, I make space for what I treasure. I make room for what I want. I choose my priorities and spirit, you're my number one. I will make room for you. Meditate. I will. Prepare for two so you don't feel that you can't live here. Please live in me. Meditate. Going into the spirit. Breaking down to that 11, which is the two. Coming together with self. change soon it's coming you will weather the storm you will get through use the storm to tune you to unlock you to find the key to unlocking the the answer that you're seeking for that you're seeking that you're looking for what you're searching for, the answer to the chaos, to the distress, to the disrespect, to the disease, it is within thee. It is something that is guiding you to show you, you, who are you when you are alone? Who are you when you weather the storm alone? Who are you? How do you experience you? Can you hold on to joy while you get through duality? What did I say? Going into the kingdom to unlock you. Why does that happen to be an 11? A message to guide you back to you. And that's the key.
to your new beginning. Directions and adventures await for those who are ready to let go of the past. Spiritual message to help you transmute and release any karma. Four and one is five. That's the change. One and six is seven. Introspection. Looking at self. What are you holding on to inside of you? Is it shame? Is it guilt? Is it ego? Jealousy? Envy? Doubt? Fear? fallacies, any attachments, release them, release all attachments, three and four or seven, Because oftentimes the love that we seek is inside of us. And once we are able to release all of those attachments, we call into us exactly what it is that our heart truly desires. Liberation. Connection. Love. Abundance. Mental stability, physical stability, emotional stability, spiritual stability. Freedom. One in a seven is an eight. That's Eternal. Thank you guys so much for joining me on our moon energy uh, reading 1101. Feeling that Tesla frequency 369. But also the frequency of change and stability 5. And seven, two, and four. Come into self. That is where the key is to unlock your kingdom door. Unlock your heart so you can discover everything that you're looking for. I hope this helps. Know that I love you. And I pray to the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord of all of creation, that which called my light, that which called the word to be and placed the word down inside of me. And as I was gifted with the Holy Chi, the life force, the word lives and it breathes. the same as it breathes in thee. You will get through it. You command the storm. You are an ego. Eagle. You can fly like the ego waiting. You are generating your own energy. You are an alchemist. You can transmute it. You can create and call anything everything. It comes from the inside out. Are you ready to shed that old skin and reveal this new, beautiful beginning? I pray so. I pray so. Love you just like I love me because I love that which I just said to thee. To the next now. This one's done. Ashe.